Um, add to, well, so both, I guess. Because um, your voice through Skype will come out onto the stream, but um, unless you have Radiant like, team ban. an open mic that activated in Dota, I think it'll come out on the Dota replay. Okay. Dire team ban. Oh, can you can you hear me twice? Ah, uh, okay. Um, could also mute data, I guess. Ten right, seconds so... remaining. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what they Five seconds down, remaining. Anyway, um, I know Owen tried to set up this. Um, Reserve like meta game time. analysis. Um, it'll be interesting. I'm not sure there's much of a meta game to be honest. Um, in a group of people who whose picks will be largely dictated by comfort with a hero, rather by uh, how strong a hero is. Radiant team ban. A uh, Ned play Spectre, it's interesting. Okay. So I Dire guess, team um, ban. I know the AD ban is interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's um, inside information pit. on the strength of Owen's team. Oh, sorry, I should say uh, Benny's team. Dire team pick. Yeah. Um, Skyrath Mage. Dire team pick. The good openness from both teams in terms of just strength and viper. Just a hero that will win most lanes just solo. Um, but you can have them farm and safe as well. That's what I meant to say most mids. Okay, so yeah, that's some. Good, good Ten seconds remaining. Um, yeah, farming vipers can Five also be quite seconds good. Remaining. Rush that eggs with some Radiant really team powerful pick. just team fight control. But Dyer seems to be going for the uh, quick picks on the supports, grabbing probably do the strongest supports in the current meta. You could argue, and Scarath and Ogre. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds Witch remaining. Doctor. Radiant team ban. And Greg picked up the Witch Doctor, so you're not wanting to be left out in the terms of supports. Well, Witch Doctor has won Ten all seconds of remaining. his games, so... Um, Five seconds no, remaining. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Witch Doctor became a reserve material permanently. See if I can. Dire team ban. Um, yeah, these bans seem pretty random now. I've, I don't know. We've, uh, I've, I've never really regarded as much of a hero. I saw a couple of pro teams try to play Weaver recently, and ten seconds it just remaining. Doesn't do enough. It doesn't do enough damage compared to most carriers. It doesn't have enough presence in a team. Radiant fight. team ban. But um. Well, it's maybe uh, maybe ten new plays. I think ten new plays are quite a good weaver. So. Ten seconds remaining. 
five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Dire team pick. Right, so uh, yes, those are clearly uh, targeted bans. Respect bans, I should say. Targeted makes it sound uh, too malicious, I guess. And the void. And the lichen. I mean, possibly they're against Lons. But the void is quite a strong. 10 seconds here. remaining. Uh, Five seconds this, remaining. Uh, might Reserve time. <laughs> Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. King. Dire Fight. team pick. Quite good team fight control. Yeah, I, I, I have no idea how those algorithms work. I know many, many people who claim they're top 100 in the world at X Hero, and there are a lot of people in the world that play Dota. And... Silencer. Don't know, his, his avatar is good. Radiant team pick. Um, I don't know how it's so good. I mean, it's an okay hero, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... They grab... They grab up the, uh... The avatar and the silencer... Well, that's interesting. That must be Ten a seconds I remaining. that's a core silencer then. Of some kind. Five um, seconds remaining. Unless it's a core Skywrath or Ogre. Reserve time. quite possible, but you, you probably see silencer more often in a core role. Be interesting. And... Must be confident with that hero. Silencer calls are definitely strong. Um, I would just say that Silencer is just needs a lot of items to become relevant, I guess. Um, and that also suffers from generic problems of not Die having hunter. a slow or a stun. Dire team bad. It becomes quite easy to kite, especially for heroes like Viper. When you have stuff like Witch Doctor and Wraithling on the team to control the silencer. The silencer needs so many items that... Yeah, it, it becomes Ten seconds so difficult remaining. to just be useful in the fight until quite late game. Five seconds but I'm remaining. guessing they picked the silencer to counter stuff like the Wraith King with Mana Drain. So. Reserve time. No, so I... No, I mean it's yeah. I don't, I don't know. I it, it's also a nice counter against the witch doctor ult. I guess just saving the global until Radiant the death team ward comes out. But then you're, and then of course you are sort of relying on the fact that you want to save global until death ward goes down, which you know sometimes you don't always want to do in a fight. Global such a good ten seconds remaining. 
and the time Five limit seconds up, remaining. which we banned twice in the two games that have happened. Dire team pick. And I guess uh, TNU's still continuously banning more cores to try to restrict uh, Greg's choice. It's pretty, uh, it's quite, quite a bit of hate there. 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Yeah. Uh, I I would say I would say Greg for sure. They just have a lot. They have a lot better sort of team fight control, I guess, which is where I don't know a lot of these games seem to be decided on. Um, Dia. I mean, they, they have quite, they have generally, like, they have a couple of quite defensive areas, I guess, in Ogre and Abaddon, like, Ogre is, like, nice for ganking, but his, like, Ten local seconds are remaining. quite useful for defensive stuff as well. Five they don't really have a remaining. nice target for Bloodlust other than, like, Silencer, I guess. Radiant team pick. So... Yeah, I guess Centaur gives them control. It gives them, like, nice chase with Stampede. Stampede's also a really nice counter against Viper. It essentially just negates all of the ridiculous slows that he gives. Um, good disengage against Witch Doctor and Breaking. Um, and, yeah, sort of from Ravage, I guess. So it's a ni really nice pickup for... Um, Ten seconds remaining. Ned's team, I guess I just... It'll be interesting Five where the damage really remaining. comes out out from. There's no like big burst, um, no huge right click and uh, Greg goes, you know, is um, definitely one of his, uh, I guess you could call signature heroes. So, interesting. Um, and looking at first pick Owens, the first pick Owen team, well, they don't have a lot of counter against the, um, against the clips. Uh, they don't have many things that can spawn, pre uh, spawn units and things to tank some of the damage. So, I mean, if a clip goes off in a fight, then, yeah, it's... Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, I mean, it's, um... No, it's a... Uh... Oh, look at that flag. <laughs> Did you see that on mid lane? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I need to turn data on. And I guess uh, Greg's team didn't, didn't love, him, love him enough to uh, give him a flag. Yes, sir. Uh... First, first games as, t as, as a team. I mean, there's all that issues with who's buying what, I guess. So, I guess 
looking at the teams, um, Lawrence must be uh, leaning, leaning mid. Um, Luna, I know Greg's good on Luna, but Luna is not a very good mid here at all. Yeah, it looks like Greg is leaning safely. Could be interesting to see how Lawrence does in mid. Um, I don't really see him play mid. Decent player, but mid's always a, a lot about experience as well as skill. Uh, he's not gone for any sort of cheeky pulls. Or is he asking for one? Who knows? Uh, gone for the Wraith Hand first build. Oh, oh, he's getting a lot of tangos. <laughs> for six tangos. That's, that's, that's a lot of tangos. Um, Things to counter all the harassment coming up from the. Silencer. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, so it's a silencer mid. That's uh, brave. I would say that's brave. Um, uh, silencer really sh can't win that mid um, if he goes curse, which most silencers do now because you just skill, um, you just skill corrosive, and uh, you, uh, you you just die. Thirty seconds to battle. So, what are they? Yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, these are definitely the yeah, nice woods. Yeah. Great spots there where they are. Grow is like pinging this wall. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good awareness from Greg. They might just go and deal with both of these. And. The battle begins! And this is really the power of the tide. Just not able to be killed in those sort of situations against melee heroes, but does not get the bounty room. And looks like Dyer pick up the invisible spot as well, so... Oh, so maybe they didn't spot out the, uh, the sword then. Looks like it's still up. And uh, so... Going through the Radiance team now, I guess they're... Oh, I guess they're not running dual lanes, they're just leaving Tide up to uh, on cap Captain Sets on the Tide to... Uh, Solo top lane against the uh, farming Abaddon, supported by the uh, Ogre. Then we've got Viper mid against uh, a Silencer, who skilled last word first. Got an SK running through the jungle, doing not very much, and you've got a dual lane of Skyrath and Centaur. Interesting. It's dual laning with uh, Uncle Phil. It's quite interesting that they put both Observer Wards at the bottom. Uh, they really don't want the pulls, I guess. And... and none from the river. On the river. And uh, some trash talk from the Viper already. Um, but. So, uh, I'm unsure what this uh, trash talk is about, considering the Viper is down on last hits. So... And... I really hope, for Owen's sake, that he does not keep skilling that skill, because... He's going to take a lot of damage if he does. But it looks like Lawrence has not picked up on uh, how you can lane against Silencer yet. So, uh, so how should they be laning? Uh, yeah, this is this is yeah no just um just to level up Corrosive skin. Um, like if you take it like even first or second level, Silencer just takes so much damage from putting Curse on you that yeah it's it's ridiculous. Um, first attempt at bottom. Yeah. Almost got it. Dyer's oh, bottom like tower is under to attack. Um, but uh, such strong words at the bot that the Centaur really shouldn't die. Um, meanwhile, going back to mid, the Silencer is still wrecking the Viper in terms of last hits. Just, uh, I, I'm not sure 
blind out his skills to say he needs to um, run away while he's got the last that. word on, considering it doesn't damage him. I guess he doesn't want to take the curse damage, but he oh. should realize that. I think Lauren should be getting more CS than this because he's got. Dyer's top toxin. tower is oh, under no, attack. Oh no, absolutely! But he's he's playing so defensively that he can't CS. Like, look, he's running back when he's getting last worded. When when there's no need to, like, he's gonna get stunned anyway because he can't cast spells, and he's he's afraid of getting cursed. But like, he he really shouldn't care about it because if he just levels up his um his uh, corrosive more um, then then the silencer really can't do anything against him because he'll take like if you look at corrosive skin like if he levels it up like a couple of times he takes like um, Owen will be taking so much damage over time and slow that um, it's just not worth it's not worth it to um it becomes detrimental for the silencer to uh, spend mana to essentially take damage. Very well. Um, looks like it looks like the viper is going to just lose this lane. Is mine. Great micro from uh, Skara. Sending the illusion to Bonzo. He might deny the lane, or he might just leave it for Centaur to take it. Uh, maybe just the silencer. The silencer. The silencer is so like going this build is very very mana intensive, but looks like he will go ahead and deny the uh, in this room. I guess Owen just doesn't want to lose the lane. But I don't know. This I really dislike passive Hello. viper plays. Because your job as Viper is to really just win the lane of the um, Like you're not you're not gonna do anything um, if you if you sort of sit back. You're such an early game hero in terms of like agility carries that you lose so much tempo if you just um, yeah, sit back. And also. He's not exactly using much of his poison attack, given that he yeah exactly he uses it first. Like, this first is first blood. And oh, wow. obviously miss uh, first blood. Apparently they went a bit too much on these the center. He just bursted SK down, I guess. So that's a nice win for Greg's team. I feel as though they really needed it, considering their mid is so bad. If we look at the gold graph, I mean. Wow, that's it's pretty. It's pretty insane. <laughs> Scar of me is just warded. Well, they really don't want the pulls. Yeah. And I guess if we look at uh, the item progression from both Wraith King and Wish Doctor, there really isn't much. But yeah, there might be something here. Nice bounces, but. Greg's going for Midas. Greg goes Midas. Meanwhile, this mid lane just not, not going, uh, not not being fun for Lawrence at all. And he's going to get Lawrence pushed all the way back to base. Resorted to buying uh, a self. Dyer's Owen's top tower is under attack. this mid lane. He's doing his job as Silencer, and if Silencer gets this sort of free farm mid, then Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So yeah, like this is just—I mean, this is bizarre. I mean, he gets disarmed because he can't cast anything, and then he goes back in. Um, I don't know. It's just very weird. He said Skyrath, possibly trying to look for something but but looks like Radiant are prepared. Oh, not that, but I think they can get the kill from that. Haste, haste too strong. But this, um, oh, this... He's gonna be okay. And 
looks like oh it looks like we might have a kill on top. Oh the curry is not tied. Haste the scarf trying to snap a curry. Oh one more hit. He didn't get it. And there we see the power of Abba. Um just being able to dive those T1s, no problem. Going for maxing aphotic shields. And, really uh, and then two die. two in the slow, sorry. I think you shouldn't die to the two melee at the top, especially being the tight. The tight? It, it's not ideal. Yeah, I guess um, the tight is underestimated the damage from uh, from the ABBA. Um, he gets a lot of attack speed from uh, Frostmourne and then... Oh, it's not called Frostmourne, is it? It's uh, something else. It used to be called Frostmourne. Curse of Venus. Yeah, he gets a lot of attack speed and with Phase, he's hitting quite a lot, even with Anchor Smash on, so... Um... Yeah, I guess, um... No, there's a, there's a reason why he used to be third in the world at the hero, I guess. Yeah. Um, Witch Doctor's going for the YOLO build, so no heal. Mm. Getting that Maledict, that bonus oh, damage. Wow. Aggressive build. And it looks like they might be trying Owen to... Owen must have seen him. Oh. Um, yeah, Owen saw him now, because Owen walked to the height now. Too bad for you. Owen's still just bossing this lane out completely. I, I mean, 44 to 16, I mean... The Ravage is just used though, top lane. And looks like it was used defensively. That's, you don't want to be doing that. And I, I, I don't know, this is, this is, this is so weird. Uh, very little rotations, I mean, I guess in, t in terms of diet they don't really need to. Um, <laughs> their Centaur's doing alright. Um, not getting a lot of CS, but he can always just go into jungle and get the last few of you. He needs it for the blink. Both top lane and mid are just complete. Um, yeah, completely gone. Um, looks like they're gonna die if this. Um, and the uh, and there and there we go. This lane is. Um, Double damage. Not ideal for a radiant team. Not a good start. No, um, and no TP support either. Is mine. Oh, and I don't like to see this. I mean, if you're gonna go yellow with Maledict, you max that shit. You get max Maledict. Um. Oh, this Wraith King is very underlevel. You don't. You definitely don't want an underlevel Wraith King. You really need him to get that ult up as quick as you can. Um, some rotation is coming up from Dyer. It looks like, uh, yeah, they, they want to do something here. Um, be content on just letting the Abaddon just. And it looks like that should be it. And oh, nice silence coming out from uh, Ooh, look at it go. one down. They might get one. They could get one more with the melody, but it wasn't really used. It's all here. Yes, so Greg used the Eclipse there. We had a nice global being put out by Owen to stop the initial engagement. Dyer's middle tower is under and they attack. also get the Viper going. This Viper, 19 and 2, 1 death. Uh, I think it's just going to become irrelevant. Yeah, and, I think it's a Viper uh, really this... going to lose lane. Ravage. Oh, and Ravage. That's a nice Ravage. Killing spree! Double kill! Radiant's nice middle tower is under attack. Really nice, uh, was it a three or four man ravage? 
from the type that. Yeah, I think that that the Abaddon would have been that. They're so strong in these engagements. That they might want to try to go on this Abaddon, but he does have ult. Um, oh no, he has ult in 15 seconds. I think they are trying to get more kills at the Yeah, looks like they might try to do something with Stampede. Stampede is up again. So... And Greg goes mid, possibly sensing the danger. Some good awareness there from Greg. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. I think they decided to ditch bot late because everyone's going to go on top. And that could be from their heroes. Radiance amidst. bottom tower is under attack. Oh, look at this one! Oh, that is a nice old. Wished up to give a very good sound. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Hey, this is why Max's poison isn't that good, because if Lawrence makes Nether Foxy, he probably could get the whole game. Yeah, this is, um, I just, I, I just really disagree with this build. This is Nether Toxin is just really good. <laughs> like, really well, good. Poison attack is good, but he's got to really dominate the lane for it to be like, really useful. Probably poison attack is good, but, but you want to... But you want the um... Greg might get killed. And yeah, that's... Oh, great. Oh, and the right. Nether Tower is under attack. He might get messed. Oh, Ness got assaulted. Uh, nobody's hitting him. That's really nice. Dominated. I think they might get Ness here. This, this, uh, this witch doctor is getting three. rich. Um, Shanky went for mana boots. Um, I don't. That's a thousand gold that he could have. That could have gone towards that um, Agonins. I guess Dyer's uh, middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Stun to watch in early games. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, that'll be some Radiant's pretty good top awareness. Tower is under attack. Wow, that, those uh, those DOTs really doing their work on the SK there. No problem. That level one voodoo restoration doing work. And Greg just farming a safe lane. Watching this catapult go down slowly but surely. Yeah. Blocking the ancient because I, I guess they are familiar with Greg keep stacking the ancient with the with his helm of dominance. Radiant's I don't think top that tower is, is under oh, attack. Uh, dominator, so he's just radiant structures are fortified. This troll to the ancient. Oh, and this is an important pickup the blink for the centaur. He looks like um, it's coming mid already. Who cares about health? Just. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Okay, mid with blink. Centaur is doing quite well, he's like a with blink. And, uh, this could be a big, big fight coming up. Raking has his ultimate. This could be... ...important. We have two unkillable... We have an unkillable hero on both sides. Oh, good global coming out there. Oh, so they're just gonna take down the raping. Radiant's oh. middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has from the Skyrath scroll to just kill off the Witch Doctor and it looks like Greg's gonna do that. Double kill! Double kill with that auto shield. Double kill! And that's a team wipe. And the tower, I suppose. Did they get the tower? Dyer's well, bottom tower fight? is or under attack. Was it down uh, I think it was down before the team fight started. 
so they might go for TT. Um, Tide has Ravage up. I guess that was the key thing, they didn't have Ravage that fight. Seen one. But I think they reduced the, the helm cooldown quite a bit. Yeah, see, he already has it up, so he can go and stack again if he wishes, but of course, there is a ward there blocking the respawn. And it looks like um, Nev's team's just gonna. Yeah, just 5 on it. Ping, already pinging out top. Dyer still have all three of their towers, all pretty healthy, and uh, this is just constant pressure on Radiant. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has it fallen. There's another T1 gun. It's more gold for Dyer, and uh, yeah, already looking at almost a seven and a half thousand gold advantage. They're going straight for Radiant's the top tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, yeah, that kicks me off. That's my name. Interesting. Oh, it looks like they're trying to go for an angle and break. Are you gonna go down again? Oh, it's not what you want to see. He is the highest that worth on the game as well, so... Dominating. This slow is ridiculous. Wow. 20% plus 12 SK stun on the silencer. Not gonna do much. And uh, yeah, the net worth graph is just not looking very good for Radiant Dyer's at the bottom moment. tower is under attack. Maybe the game will change a bit once Lawrence can get his mechanism. Uh, yeah, late, I mean, they'll but... definitely survive a bit better in the fights, but... Yeah. I mean... I guess survival is one thing, but they need to be able to kill these heroes, and Luna just isn't far farmed enough at the moment. I mean... I've always seen Luna as, you know, Luna's a really strong carry, like late game from the Glaives, but... And it looks like he's just gonna blow, on, blow the Eclipse on that, and Global's going as well. Um, I guess that's a good trade for Greg's team there. Um, Eclipse for Global, definitely worth it, I think. Global destroys their team so badly. Um, and they get the Scar up on top, so... Yeah, not bad. I um, definitely need more of this though, if they want to uh, come back into the game. Silence is really, really close to Echonyms. Like yeah. Um, SY finished on Ned as well. Such a strong item on just heroes that you can chase with endlessly. Um, repeated as a bad item, but. It's it's still strong if you get it early. Twenty one minute SY with lads. I mean this. It's really good. Yeah. This Abaddon is strong, and it looks like they're just gonna power into rush. And uh, yeah, we'll see if Radiant wants to contest it. They have vision of this. Um, it's like they're gonna oh they're gonna drop the sentry out. They'll see the ward now. So just tied up his blink. He does not, he's still quite a way off it. It's, um... Clips is down for Greg and... Clips is down... The mech that he's... I thought he used. Guys! Like he's so good. Oh, really nice ults. Got the two kills on, on Dyer still living. We'll see it's, uh, yeah, this is... Oh, Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, yeah. I think that might get one or two.
Nice. Uh, Dyer's top tower Four is under five. attack. Uh, yeah. This phase, phase S Y. Yeah. Pretty strong. Definitely a good fight for Radiant. They really needed that. Um, kind of feel as they. This, you know, they're still pretty even. Um, Dyer was so far ahead, they could afford to lose fights like that, but maybe not too many more. Net worth only about four, four and a half Dyer's thousand. Dyer's middle tower is under now. attack. Dyer's structures like, are fortified. Um... Oh, they're not going to take the T1. Eclipse is up again, but I have a feeling now they're just going to rush and. I don't think Dyer can do much. This is quite nice. Definitely nice. Um, needed as well, I think. So good support. It just blocks every camp and does rotation the whole time. Yeah, it looks like an uncontested rush. I expect Silence will take this, I guess. Uh, oh. Oh, and. Oh. oh and... Roshan has I fallen to the dire. The, the cliff, I mean the river. And then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, got caught. And that's nice as well. The um, Silence are picking up the. Uh, the Aegis. Uh, he has his axe now. Looks like they might just push butt. Um, they have global up. Um... Oh, this Viper wow. looks very dead. Dyer's and that's top tower is under attack. Multicast as well to finish him up. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Uh, looks like they're gonna get this T2. Um... Tide ravages back up, he should have Dyer's just blinks. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, still a bit off, so I would probably be tempted to sell the stout. Radiant's bottom tower has and, fallen. Uh, I should sell the stout because it doesn't Dyer's stack top with tower has fallen. the shell. So I should totally sell it. It doesn't add much. Yeah, oh, it looks like they're just going to push high grounds. Um, or are they overcommitting again? Um, Dyer's top tower is under attack. SK. SK, in fact, still not level 11. This is. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Looks like they're going to go for the turn and go for the T2. Um, all ults up for Dyer. Um, still no lift online. Oh no, he's the pick now. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, and. That cast, that cast will work. Just stops the silence. Great cast. Good mech out from all. From, uh, from Dyer. Killing three, double kill. Oh, they didn't get any kills though, which is quite unfortunate. Yeah, that, um, the Witch Doctor didn't cast his ult. Um, I guess Witch Doctor must have just been blown up at the beginning. Which, I mean, Witch Doctor is their, their, their main damage at the moment. So that must have been big. I didn't. I didn't see what happened. I just. I was just amazed at that cast. That cast was so good. Yeah. It just it was, it was stuck on uh, the sky and the uh, sounds. Of, and yeah, and they were comp they were right next to each other. So uh, yeah, like no global, no silence. That was. I mean, that was a, as good a cast as anything. But I wonder why they, the uh, the witch house didn't cast it. Oh, maybe maybe he ran in to try to get to get that maledict off. I mean. Maledict's yeah. strong skill. Um, I oh, is there no replay function for lobby dupes? Uh, not if you're a caster, I don't think. Yeah, still plenty of time on 
Vegas it looks like as well. Maybe about mm. three minutes. And send Sokin to stay because he's got a region. I mean the problem for Radiant now is that they they don't have Ravage for a minute and a half and the only fights they've won have been with Ravage, so now looks like Blade Mail's also finished on uh, Santor. It's going to be pretty strong against yeah, Viper. Mainly Viper, I guess. A lot of damage that Viper can't really control. I think it reflects dots. I, I don't actually know. I hardly ever buy the item. Well, they might get a few pickoffs here, though. Um, silencer. She's still choosing not to TP out. Um, has a Sage's Mask. I wonder what that's going to be. Maybe maybe he's going to go yellow and go Orchid. Dyer's really middle tower is under attack. Damage, but... Dyer's structures are fortified. Wow. Um, I guess Ned really trained his T well. Defending that T1. This Abaddon is just so far. <laughs> oh, they get the Skyrath. Bring sad tidings. You're dead. Yeah, I mean he had a spree, but yeah, it didn't go on Greg either. So. Like the Aegis is might time out. Yeah, he still has some time left. Dyer's middle tower is under like attack. It's like he used the illusion to bring the two waves to the top, and then now mid tower is pushing. Oh, I'm so I'm so stupid. Of course, it's a refresher on the silencer coming up next. Oh, Oh, and that tower is interesting under attack. ravage. Looks like Lawrence gets him down kill. from the silence. Double kill. And uh, I can only say that as a, spree. I can only describe that as a zoning eclipse. Uh, and it looks like the um, Wicked sick! That's uh, that Abba that just so strong. Kill. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? He's finished his AC now. He can just... Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, I think this is just over. They don't have Ravage up again in another... for another... I guess a minute and a half again. And uh, Radiant's top tower has what are they fallen. Gonna do? Radiant's middle tower is under attack. And the wish is gonna TP in, but I think he's just gonna die. So they take the range wraps. Um, it's gonna be annoying. Um, I mean, range wrap is, is not a huge deal, but the fact that Radiant have only one tower, I mean, they really don't want a, a lane to just be pushing in when they already have so little map control. This is um, not what you want, to say the least. So Wraith King's desperately trying to finish some sort of mobility item. Trying to get that. Um, that four stuff done. But. They blow up the Skyrath again. At least they didn't blow too many ults this time. Chips coming up in 15 seconds. The Ravage up again. Maybe. Maybe they'll try to go for something like a T1 mid. But I mean, if the only hero they can see is Abaddon, what, what can they really do? I mean, can you can you really kill Abaddon twice? Uh, I think Abaddon 
is a great pick given that um, most of the radiant heroes they've got like one of ultis and they can't like have they can't engage in a fight twice with against Abaddon. They all got cooldowns in the ultis. Like yeah, every single I mean, one of them. Abaddon. I have I have definitely not it's very rare that I see Abaddon work as a clan. I have to admit, I've not seen anyone do it um, as well as any of those on a consistent, in a consistent manner. And, um... I guess Greg just didn't respect it enough. Not to ban it. against Abaddon, you, you, yeah, you, you, I think against Abaddon you really want to make sure the rest of your team is strong enough to be able to essentially just try and ignore him as much as you can. Yeah. Also, I just realized he's got max move speed with the Ogre buff, so that's really, really strong. He's got 5 to oh, 2 Oh, with, uh, with phase, yeah, that's, yeah. that's pretty funny. With the uh, Bloodlust, it's kind of broken. I guess they, they might try to wait for Rush, I guess, but I, I mean, I don't think they need to. Um, gold lead's now up to 12,000. 12, I mean, so here's the problem with against Abaddon. They don't they don't have any mobility heroes on uh, on the Radiant side. No one no one can really escape from Abaddon. Um, no one has a blink or a... And the best sort of zoning hero they have is Viper, but um, but then uh, Avalon can just have fun to shield the the ult. So, oh, so so difficult. I mean, I I really expected the Radiant to do better, but I, I have a feeling a lot was decided on the fact that mid was just. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. It's such a disaster for the Viper. The Viper really couldn't do anything um, mid game. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Looks like uh, Sinus is about to finish up a, what will be, uh, I guess, around a 35 minute Ags refresher. Dyer's I mean, top tower is under attack. That's pretty insane. Yeah. Also, Dyer team is really coordinated in the team movement compared to Radiant. Oh yeah, no, they've, they've definitely you know, gone gone around as a team. They've really they teleported the defense towers together. Yeah. And Very... also, Pete and George always play Dota together, so there's like great draft from uh, Ned there. So like to support, not the support, uh, the support in the offlane, like they're really oh, com yeah. comfortable with playing with one another. Well, un Uncle Uncle Phil and uh... Yeah. Uh, George and Pete. Oh, oh yeah. And the ancient is really well played by Uncle Invisibility. Phil. Yeah, that's it's quite, it's quite good support in here. Oh, and it uh, looks like that's a massive gun as well. And the refresher is here man. on the side, so. Well, I mean, that's just over. Nothing. Unless. I'm trying to think of a way that, um, that Radiant win, wins a fight. I mean, I guess. Uh, Maybe if a uh, Rift can transition to a carry, but I think that's quite impossible. Um, I guess yeah. uh, at least um, they, the Dire Troll that gave uh, Ogre the Aegis. Really? Yep. Oh wow, okay. But I mean, in Silence, uh, with this sort of build, you, the only thing you really need to do is uh, use Alt. Wait six seconds and use it all to get. 
and then your job is pretty much done. Fair play to Greg though, still keeping uh, keeping up with the farm. Top of the net worth. Pretty impressive warrior. given yeah, the rest worried. of his team, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to keep uh, your farm that high uh, when your team doesn't have much map control. Oh no, definitely. So, yeah, it's Greg's, Greg's, Greg's played well, um, as he always does on Luna, I think. <laughs> Peter's just uh, being a bit arrogant here. Radiant Spartan Tower is under attack. Oh, I guess so. Um, yeah. Radiant structures are fortified. And he's got here. Dyer's middle tower. Oh, excellent. Oh, Global there. Bubble. Just as well. And the second silence. Oh, and I guess it got dispelled by Kraken Shell. So he's able to get Ravage off it. They can't get anything off it. Oh, it looks like the old not gonna cast from uh, Raping either. Radiant's bottom oh, tower is oh. under attack. Oh, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top barracks yeah. are under This could be the last. They managed to take the, the central barracks are under Radiant's bottom barracks Looks like they're going to go down now. Yeah, yeah, Proof is showing the top. Someone has an ASOS? Let's go off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, Radiant's it, I guess. bottom barracks have fallen. Radiant's middle tower is under it. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's middle barracks have fallen. Oh, Radiant's the middle barracks have fallen. The Dyer now have mega creeps. Oh, they're going on this ogre, but carry ogre. Oh, carry ogre. So strong. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah. I think this is game. Well, <laughs> I don't think we're strong enough to uh, defend against Mega Creeps yet. Unfortunately. The Tide Hunter choosing to just man up. Just eat all the damage. That poor courier is going to get picked off as well. <laughs> Has Abbott died? Oh no, he did die. The uh, that was that one disastrous fight. Holy shit! Double kill. And, uh, Radiant's so middle tower is under go. attack. I guess he doesn't have ultra. Otherwise, I fully expected him to uh, to die. Oh, Abbott might die. Yeah. Radiance Middle Tower yes. has fallen. Yeah, GG. Radiance Ancient is under attack. Dire right. victory. Right. Yeah. Good team formation.